Welcome to Eternal Mena, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are so glad that you have joined us for another week where we can look into God's word verse by verse. We are looking at Psalm 41 and uh, today we want to look at verse 3. Psalm 41 verse 3. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed and restores them from their bed of illness. Now we have to connect this with verse one. Blessed are those who consider the poor and the weak. And uh, these are the blessings of those who are very considerate of the poor. And in verse three, we are told that the Lord is going to sustain them and restore them when they fall ill. Now, again, I need to emphasize that when we live a godly life, we are not spared illness. So illness is uh, going to come in one form or the other, and we have to expect it. Of course, we do our best to eat well and uh, exercise and sleep and uh, take the necessary precautions. But having done everything, there is still the strong possibility that we can fall ill physically while living a godly life. So here we have a very wonderful promise that the Lord will sustain us on our sick bed. Another translation puts it this way, the Lord makes all his bed. I want you to picture a caregiver, a nurse, taking care of someone who is sick. What does that nurse do? He or she will prepare the bed, make it as comfortable as possible for the patient. He or she will then ensure that all the medication is being given, all the food is being given at the right time, and constantly they will come in and check to see how the patient is doing. Now that's what God undertakes to do for the godly who fall ill. He is going to become their personal caregiver. He is going to become, as it were, their nurse. And uh, he is going to adjust the pillows so that, uh, so that you are comfortable. Uh, he will raise the uh, level of the bed so that again, uh, you are at ease. And uh, the Lord is going to minister to you on your bed of illness. Now, uh, one commentator said there are three pillows uh, that we can uh, rest on in our bed of illness. The pillow of infinite power, the pillow of infinite love, and the pillow of infinite wisdom. And that's very wonderful to know that when you and I fall ill, that uh, we are assured of God's infinite power, infinite love, and infinite wisdom. God knows what is happening to us, and God will only permit that which will be for our best and for our growth, and uh, God will take care of us very, very personally. This verse also says that the Lord will restore them from their bed of illness. By God's grace and mercy, he is going to heal us, put us back on our feet, strengthen our weak body so that we can continue living for him and that we can continue serving him. Now, when we are on a bed of illness, uh, I would like to mention some things that we should do. When you and I are on a bed of illness, we are forced to look we all live such busy lives that we don't spend too much of time looking up. We look around and we look down, but uh, we look behind, we look forward, but uh, we fail to look up. So I want to encourage you that one of the purposes of a sick bed is that we are forced to look up. We are forced to stop all our activities, our busyness, and uh, we have to look up. Now, here are five things that you and I need to do when we are on a bed of illness 
and we are forced to look up. Let me give you five C words. You can jot it down. Number one, contemplation. Contemplation. We have plenty of time to think, to reflect, to get perspective. And uh, we were often giving the excuse, no time, no time, no time. Now we have plenty of time on that sick bed to contemplate. The second thing that uh, we can do on that sick bed is to confess. That's your second C. If the Holy Spirit uh, brings to our remembrance some sin or wrong attitude or wrong activity, we uh, confess it to the Lord. We take responsibility and we confess it. And uh, number three, we uh, correct our life. Are there changes that need to be made in our life? Is my life going to be the same as before or are there going to be changes? So it's a time for correction, correction. That's your third word. And the fourth word is uh, to consecrate, to consecrate my life to the Lord, to rededicate my life to the Lord. I want to be more fervent for the Lord. I want to use my time more wisely. There are some activities that I'm going to stop doing. They are good in and of itself, but I know that it doesn't further kingdom interests. And so I'm going to uh, uh, consecrate to doing the will of God. And that's your fourth word, consecration. And the fifth word is to call on the Lord. Calling on the Lord is to pray. We have plenty of time to pray, to call upon the Lord when we are on the sick bed. I use my times for walking, to pray quite a bit. And... Uh, uh, but just imagine if you can't walk and you're confined uh, to a bed of illness, uh, you have all the time to call upon the Lord. And the Lord will bring to your memory what you need to pray for. Romans 8 teaches us that the Holy Spirit prays in and through us. So on your sick bed, my sick bed, there are five words to remember. Contemplation, confession, correction, consecration, and calling on the Lord. May the Lord minister to us in our physical extremity and bring healing and strength to our bodies. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.